As someone involved in the Italian teaching community in the United States since 1972, when I began teaching actually in high school, and then went on to get a PhD and, and, and then began a career at the college level, um, I wanted to take the time out to thank our ex-ambassador, um, uh, Giulio Terzi di Sant'Agata, for the immense help that he has given the Italian American community and the teaching community, especially with regard to the reinstatement of the Advanced Placement Program in Italian, and also all the other assistance, all the other help that he has given us with regard to the promotion and promulgation of Italian language and culture here in the United States. Um, his collaboration with numerous entities, I think, um, has to be recognized, whether it's with the various national um, Italian American organizations, the National Italian American Foundation, the Order of Sons of Italy. Um, he's also been extremely helpful with other organizations, such as the American Association for Teachers of Italian, the National Copilas in Washington, the um, fairly recently um, Italian Language Foundation, and other organizations that were involved in the promotion of Italian culture. He's also been extremely generous with us here at Calandra Institute in when we needed to have his word, um, his support for something. He was very gracious in getting us all sorts of uh, communiques and things of that sort that um, came not only through the Calandra Institute but also through iitaly.org when there were uh, issues that had to be addressed about what the uh, people outside the Italian American community were saying about Italian, whether it was last year's famous, if not infamous, speech of Richard Haas of the, uh, I think it's called the Council of Foreign Affairs, when he said that certain languages such as Italian weren't really necessary. Um, we didn't really have to study them. The ambassador stepped up to the plate and, um, and, and made his own statements in that regard and, and offered us uh, all sorts of support. Most recently, I want to uh, thank the ambassador for, um, or I should say, the Minister for Foreign Affairs and the ex-ambassador for perhaps one of his last acts as ambassador with regard to Italian language and culture, and that is when he wrote letters of support, that is, that the curriculum in the City University of New York not be changed to the extent that foreign languages fell by the wayside. And he did that actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, as uh, recently as November 9th. So with all of that, I say to the ambassador, with numerous hats, with the hat of a former high school teacher, with the hat of a university uh, professor, with the hat of the director of the Kleinder Institute, with the hat of one of the officers of idly.org, with the hat of the past president of the American Association for Teachers of Italian, and so on and so forth, I want to say thank you, uh, un caloroso grazie da parte di tutti noi, and we are most confident that our paths will cross again um, as we deal with the promotion and promulgation of Italian language and culture abroad, especially here in the United States. And with that, arrivederci.